The B-21 Raider is the future of U.S. Air Force's strategic bombers. When that future will begin remains unclear. The Air Force recently announced that the B-21 will not make its first flight until 2023. Originally, the Raider was scheduled to fly in 2021. Then 2021 became 2022. And now, we're looking at 2023. Still, the aircraft is reasonably on track and has stayed within its budget, a modern miracle for expensive defense programs Kyle Mizukami wrote in Popular Mechanics. The US has not unveiled a strategic bomber in 30 years, not since the B-2 Spirit rolled off the Northrop Grumman production line in the late 80s. The B-2, the world's first ever stealth bomber, is a flying wing design developed with a total program cost of $2.3 billion per aircraft. Only 21 B-2s were ever made, and all but one are still in service. One was lost in an accident when it ran off the runway in Guam. The B-21, also a Northrop Grumman product and also a flying wing, is a progeny of the B-2. Not much is known about the B-21. The program has been cloaked in secrecy with only the occasional kernel of information making it to the public. What we know for sure is that the aircraft was purpose-built from the ground up to replace at least two-thirds of America's aging heavy bomber fleet, Alex Hollings wrote for Sandbox. The current U.S. Air Force bomber inventory includes the B-2 stealth bomber, the Eisenhower-era B-52, and the supersonic B-1. Once the B-21 enters service, the B-1 and the B-2 will begin to be phased out. Counterintuitively, the 70-something-year-old B-52 will remain in service because it does what it was designed to do effectively and cheaply. Drop a lot of bombs. In order to serve as a viable replacement for both the super-fast B-1B and the super-stealthy B-2 Spirit, the B-21 Raider will have to be able to engage any target, at any time, anywhere on the globe," Hollings wrote. To engage any target anywhere in the world, the B-21 will rely, in part, on improved stealth technology. The specifics of the B-21's stealth capabilities are unclear, but undoubtedly, as enemy air defense systems grow increasingly more sophisticated, U.S. aerospace designers are persistently refining stealth technology. Each successive U.S. stealth aircraft has had lower observability than its stealth predecessors, from the F-117 to the B-2, to the F-22, to the F-35. In all likelihood, when unveiled, the B-21 will have the world's most advanced stealth capabilities. Without question, the B-21 will be able to carry a large quantity and a large variety of both conventional and thermonuclear weapons. Approximately zero information has been released about the B-21's payload capacity, but we can expect a Raider will be equipped to deploy the B-61 variable yield nuclear gravity bomb and the long-range standoff nuclear cruise missile. But the B-21 will be too fundamental to Air Force fleet structures and too expensive to produce to be typecast as just a nuclear deterrent or nuclear deploying airframe. No, the B-21 will be able to deploy conventional weapons so that the bomber may participate in more standard combat operations, especially in the Pacific. The B-21 will be a major asset in any conventional war with China, flying long distances and unleashing long-range cruise missiles against enemy targets. The B-21's range will enable it to strike China if necessary, Mizukami wrote. When the B-21 is ready for production, the Air Force hopes to buy between 100 and 200 aircraft, likely making the Raider the linchpin of U.S. strategic bombing capabilities for decades to come.